Good Monday morning. If it looks like I'm going to cry, it's because I might. I woke up this morning feeling great, wonderful. Um, and then I started cleaning the studio down here. And I vacuumed up all the floors and then the vacuum stopped working. And then I had to clean it. And it put all the dust in my head. And now I'm all allergied up. So I'm a little not feeling super awesome. I also packaged up um, a lot of the orders I had last week. So that's all done. Ready to take those to the post office tomorrow morning. So this morning I've kind of just been, I've been ordering stuff. I ordered more t-shirts. I ordered more shipping products because I am running out of bags to put t-shirts in when I mail them and I packaged everything up and I cleaned the studio for really boring things. Didn't videotape them. But what I want to do now is I want to, uh, these Halloween bags that I made last week, these ones right here, I, I want to start sewing these up so I can start getting a reaction on those um, from people online. So maybe I can make more if people like them. And if they don't, I won't. So um, I'm going to take these upstairs, bring them to the sewing machine and start turning them, make them all into bags. So that's that's what I'm going to do right now. Hopefully get over this head thing that's going on tomorrow and then come back strong on a Tuesday. But for now, I'm gonna turn these into some bags. Look at the, look at the koala. All right, Tuesday, look like I'm going to school or something. So Tuesday's here, um, I've got everything mailed out. I'm feeling a little bit better. No more allergies stuck in my head, so that's nice and good. I have, I'm free to do whatever I want. Um, last night, just as I was relaxing and drawing, I came up with this sketch, and it's a little naked mole rat eating a piece of candy corn. I think I'm gonna work on this today, along with I have another uh, commission piece that I need to start working on. So I'm gonna do that too. But I wanted to show you that yesterday, I did end up sewing up all of these Halloween bags. This one has got all three of the trick-or-treaters on it and one of them on there twice. The koala, I think, is the one that's on there twice. This one's the elephant. This is the goat bag. And then this one is the koala, just as a butterfly bag. So those are all finished. Those are uh, nice and done. Now I gotta figure out how to photograph them and then do a post about them. And then I'll get a gauge on if I want to make more of them or not. We'll see. Um, so these are done, my little experiment here. Uh, for now, I'm gonna draw out that naked mole rat onto a board and start working on the commission piece, Belvedere. Start working on the commission piece and start working on the, the naked mole rat. All right, now over in the dusty room, getting ready to draw it all onto the board here, the little naked mole rat. This little area right here is gonna be perfect size for that sketch. So let's get up onto the board. <laughs> that wasn't screen magic. I just cover the light. Fun. All right, here we go. You got your feet all dusty. You got your feet all dusty. All right, I've got this naked mole rat with the candy corn all drawn out onto the wood. And now I'm gonna give it a carve. Carve, carve, carve away. Here we go. All right, it's Wednesday now. And yesterday I carved and got ready this little naked mole rat eating, uh, eating a piece of candy corn, and you saw me do something a little unique too. I also discovered how to, not discovered, it wasn't that difficult, but I'd never done it before um, to make a little a little gif that goes Uh, yeah, so I made, I made that. So 
I just trying to trying to mix up how I present my process to people to make things more interesting. Um, today I have two carvings that unfortunately I cannot share. Um, like a couple commission pieces again. Hopefully, some point soon, I'll have a week where I don't have any commissions. I don't know. Hopefully, and maybe not hopefully, <laughs> um, where I don't have any commissions to work on. Um, but but this week I do have um, another commission piece to work on. So it's gonna cut a little bit into the content for this week. So sorry, I gotta I gotta carve that today. So and then I'll get back to probably painting these and. All of these little guys. I made a little lion, a little pug, a little armadillo, and a little itty bitty kitty cat. Um, so yeah, I need to. I'm gonna work on that uh, other carving today. Other carvings today, and uh, I'll get back to doing the vlog. Hopefully, very very soon. But for now, cameras off. Good Thursday morning. Happy Thursday, everyone. So today's the day. I know you just saw this, but it's 24 hours later in my world. Today's the day I'm gonna paint this piece and paint these uh, four little tiny carvings. Yesterday I finished my two commission -y works. Yeah, finish those up. All done, all done. Look, I can prove it to you. I'm not gonna share the whole thing, but it's a butt and then the other pieces over there so can't show you that while I'm sitting here so anyways let's paint let's ink and then hopefully I can get to even print some t-shirts today too that would be cool wouldn't it yeah not too much work to do today all right let's get at it All finished up painting the, all the little blocks. My naked mole rat, all finished up. All the tiny carvings, all finished up. After I finished painting them initially, I took a look at my armadillo and decided that he needed a little more pizzazz. I had them all with the little yellow dots um, and a little yellow forehead armor. But I decided I needed a little bit more variety in the color, so I I lit him up like a Christmas tree. So there he is, all done, all finished, all painted. All the other ones are painted as well. Boom, boom. And ka -cha! The pug. So all done there. Um, I'm gonna ink those up right now, real quick, and then uh, figure out what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Okay, okay, okay. So all of the carvings are finished up, inked, painted, ready to go. All, of, all they need to do now is dry, so those are all done, great. So excited about that, happy, happy, happy. Um, also, I posted my Halloween bags. Da, 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 da. Look at that, so stylish, you can't see it. Haha. <laughs> um, I posted all those on social media, Instagram today, and they sold quite 
uh, quickly. So as promised, I need to make more of those. So I was going to print some t-shirts, but since I need to make more of these bags, I need to cut more fabric. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim up and cut some fabric and get those all ready. It's gonna take me a minute. Cutting fabric takes a while. Um, so I'm gonna cut the fabric and get those ready to print tomorrow as well as the t-shirts and yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Also, I have an email or two to, to write, so I'm gonna sit in that chair back there. Boop, boop, boop. Do some communication. And then uh, I'll catch back up with you guys tomorrow as I start printing on the fabric, I start printing on the t-shirts. <sighs> All right, Friday. Today's gonna to be a really, really, really big printing day. Um, I've got... 21 of these pieces of fabric to cut into a bag. And all, all this does is it folds up like this and then I fold these together, sew it all together, make it a bag. Boom, add a handle. Real simple, real easy. But it does take about half an hour to do that. Anyways, all right, so I've got 21 of these cut up and ready to print. Um, so let's get printing. I want to show you what I did differently this time to print these shirts because I ran into a slight issue last week when I printed these. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Last week I had a whole piece of chipboard taped to the surface of my uh, press bed so I could uh, give the block something to press into as I printed it. Um, this week I'm not going to do that. So this is, uh, the reason I'm not going to do that is because when I put the piece of fabric on the bed, and you see it there. When I put the piece of fabric on the bed and I put a block that kind of overlaps the side here, the ink gets on the press bed and it makes it for, it makes it for a very uh, messy printing process. So what I've done this time is instead get rid of this. Da -da -da -da. I've got this piece of chipboard, which is the exact shape of the fabric that I'm going to be printing. So it's kind of a, it's a technique that's used in pressure printing. But when I put my fabric on top of the, the cardboard here, the chipboard, some of it's going to, you know, spill over slightly, but those are going to be in the seams. And if it doesn't get there, that's fine. Um, if it gets on the edge, that's fine. But once again, it'll be in the seam. But I don't have to worry about the ink getting on the edges of the bed because it's going to be lifted up just like a millimeter, centimeter, whatever thickness of this board is, I don't even know. But it's going to be lifted up just slightly so the ink won't get dramatically on the edge of the, on the press bed. So it'll be a much cleaner, hopefully, fingers crossed, printing experience. That's what I've done differently this week. All right, so now I've got newsprint on the bed of the press. You can see it there. There's some newsprint there. So when I put a block on the press bed and it overlaps, uh, if it does get ink, it doesn't get ink on the press bed. I don't have to really spend a whole lot of time cleaning and oiling up my press bed later because I'll be printing shirts on it afterwards and I don't want to get those shirts messy. So protecting the press bed to keep the shirts nice when I go and print those. All right, let's see how this works. See if I'm going to be keeping clean. Let's see if I can fit this second block on. Nah, it's not gonna go. They're too wide. Won't go together. That's okay. I'll have to do them one at a time. That's fine though. That's fine. Roll through the press. Lift it up. See the print. Looking good. All right. And look, right there, no ink. The template as I designed it worked perfectly. And this little area that's not quite printed all that great will be in the seams. So not a problem at all. Check it out. Number two. Perfect, perfect. All right, first one printed, all done, ready to go. Got to hang it up. You see, you saw me print these last week. If you didn't, here's a clip of them right now. Da -da -dum, look how cool that is. Sweet, so um, what I'm going to do now 
is I'm going to print the rest of the 20 of these and I'm gonna do it off camera because I got, I got a lot of print today and it just takes longer to film things when I'm printing. So that's what I'm doing. I'll show you them all when I'm done, all when I'm finished. And I'm just gonna loop them on a hanger to dry just like that. And look, party. Peekaboo. 21 bags all printed up, all done. 21 bags means that I printed 84 different prints. Four prints per bag. Huh. <sighs> all right. Now I gotta print got a lot of t-shirts. It's about three o'clock, maybe three, a little after three now. Ugh. It's 345. It's 345. I've, I've got a I've got a lot of t-shirts to print. So all right. Sorry this vlog wasn't uh, super different and exciting. Um, I'll try to do better next week on that front. But for now, I'm gonna print some t-shirts. So I wanna say thank you for hanging out with me and watching. Thanks for joining me this week. Let me know what you think about the vlog in the comments if you feel so inclined. And uh, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks, bye. Enjoy these t-shirts, enjoy the t-shirts. week and I didn't address it this week. So now you get to see the Fennec Fox Unusual Kaiju printed for the very first time. <laughs>